Hi friends. Uh, I almost said welcome to 30 inks, 30 days. <laughs> We've got coloring cards. We've got a Hobonichi Weeks, a paintbrush, a dip pen, new to me, a Sailor Hikoro, a glass of wine. What could we be doing? We're swatching. So up now, because I can't wait is the Diamine and Colt Pins Seven Deadly Sins. Um, can we, wait, this is genius. I don't think it was intentional, but do you notice that one of these is facing the wrong way and it's wrath? And doesn't that make you angry? Yes, I hope that, I hope they put that thought into it. I, I really hope they did. And if they didn't, they should say they did. <laughs> anyway, so we got that. I don't know if this is going to write, so we might have to go do some stuff with it. Uh, this is a Pinot Noir. I don't have an ink named after that, though, so mm. let's zoom in. I also don't have a thing down. Yikes. What order do we want to do these in? I think we should try and go like this. There. I put them in an order. You can't see. Sorry about that. That was intentional. So we're going to start with greed, which of course has shimmer. It has to, right? Come on. Um, sorry for the noises, but sometimes, sometimes you gotta, this is all bad. It's all bad. Like, it's literally all bad. None of it got on the nib. For reals, for reals, no fakies. I gotta, I gotta go burn this. I brought the lighter over just in case. So, I think part of the problem was that it was, there was a lot of bubbles. And you don't really want bubbles. So, we're gonna just gently do this. Let's pretend it's kombucha, Maria. Because while you did get that everywhere, the goal was not that. I had kombucha today. It was great. If you don't know what I'm talking about, it's one of my 30 Inks videos. From April 2024. I hope you can hear my partner in there laughing as they play murder games. <laughs> it's actually some kind of like, I think it's a scary game. I don't remember which one it is he's playing though with his friends. I called them his girlfriends and he just kind of gave me a look. <laughs> Greed. Diamine times Colt pens. This is absolutely not my color, and I mostly got this because I felt like I had to. I felt like I can't get six of the seven deadly sins. And of <laughs> it is appropriate to me that greed is maybe the one that I'm like, I don't know about, right? <laughs> is that a little bit greedy of me maybe <laughs> i'm 
really want to know what's going on in there. Do you hear him yelling back up? <laughs> I think they're fighting these, like, undead zombie things. So I think it might be GTFO that they're playing. Um, but I'm not sure. He told me, and I paid attention at the time, but it didn't affect me, so I forgot. It, I filed it away in my brain for the in the section that's, you don't need to remember this. Do y'all do that? I hope you do. Um, and I hope you can hear him and, so that you're not like, what the hell is she talking about? But also I hope you can't hear him so he's not distracting you. I closed the door so that he could have some semblance of privacy. So this is interesting. It's this like murky, gross baby diarrhea color that like some people are going to love this. Um, also, sorry for making you think about baby diarrhea. Um, and it's funny. Look at that. Hold on. There is so much shimmer up in there. Like, can you see that? It's thick. That's got to go in there. So this is not going to have the shimmer it should because clearly it's all in the cap. So I'm, this just shipped to me though. Surely, surely it got shaken in transport. <laughs> it obviously didn't. And don't call me Shirley. I'm going to, um, I'm going to really vigorously shake this. Shake it more than it should. And I'm, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to put it upside down. It's not going to want to stay that way, but don't put it with your fabric, Maria. I just had to stop myself. I almost put it in my fabric. Um, so you can see on the card a little bit the greed. The, um, I'd say it's a bronzy sort of shimmer. Um. Which I like. I like that it's sort of a sickly color with a shimmer in it. Because, like, greed isn't a good thing. So you got the glittering over it, but then it's kind of, like, sick underneath. Which is what I'd want from a Seven Deadly Sins, right? Um, moving on. That's greed. Where did greed... Oh, right. It's upside down, Maria. Okay, what I'm gonna do is, next step is gonna be gluttony. What I'm gonna do is look inside the cap on this one. Okay, so this doesn't have any in there, good. Um, so we're gonna roll it around and this looks like a copper shimmer, but who knows because you know the color of the ink is gonna affect the way you see the shimmer in it. Um, it looks uh, orangey to me, which is again, not really my jam. But if I'm going to be gluttonous about my ink collection, you know. Oh my gosh. I kind of, this is the kind of thing that makes you wish you had a um, magnetic stirrer. That was all the rage on, on uh, the fountain pen subreddit. I don't know if it still is. I stopped going to, to Reddit once they did the thing and they wanted all of us to. There was a whole movement of like, stop going to Reddit for these two days. So that I did. And then I was like, you know what? I should just stop going to Reddit forever. And I did. I have so much more time. Okay. Oh, where's that? Can you see that? Yeah, you can see that. Okay. Get that off of there. There, there was some, I just went back there and found a post though that was really funny. It was called, um, this, this, uh, person had given their partner a book that was all out of context quotes from when, uh, they were gaming with friends and like put like motivational nature posters with it. I shared that with friends cause it's, it would be perfect for that group.
Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I'm, I'm not completely displeased with the way I wrote that. Just kind of a change for me these days. My writing is not, is still. For those of you that were along for 30 inks, you'll know that I got real sick and it's uh, not quite a month later now and I'm still recovering. And I'm trying to do a little more writing. I'm gonna write every night, but anyway. Maybe I'll just put CP up here because I'm not going to write Colt pins on this one. I'll come over here. Write. So far, by the way, this is the first time I'm really using the Sailor Hikoro. So far, I like it. It serves its purpose well. And the breather hole in the nib is a heart. <clears throat> Which is obviously the most important part of any pen is what shape is the breather hole. So we'll see how much this ink thing changes the shimmer. Because if it's a lot, like, greed, maybe I'll re-swatch. Here it goes. Gluttony. How would I describe this color? Hmm. Orange. <laughs> but for real. Um, it's like a brick color to me. Not quite as red as some bricks, but um, red rock maybe. I've never seen Uluru but I imagine it to be this color. I've also never been to Red Rocks, but I've seen the rocks around there and they're about this color. I just wiped the pen off before doing this thing. Well, we'll, we'll get automatic pen on, on the action. Um, coppery, that's, that is definitely what that looks like. It kind of looks like a, a shiny penny. Maybe I have one in the other room and we'll compare. This has a hair in it. That's gonna be perfect for swatching. Well, it's not a hair, it's a fuzz. What are you doing with your life? Automatic pen. Uh, displeasing me, that's one thing you're doing. Okay. Ah, oh god. <laughs> so, something fell in the next room. I'm sorry. Start off me. <laughs> okay, I got it together. Also, I got a penny. So it's a bit warmer than a fresh penny. Nor red roxy. Okay, I feel like I've forgotten how to swatch. <laughs> I don't know how that can be. So that was gluttony. Now I gotta look at this again. We're gonna check in on the cap. There's still hella stuff in there. You know what, you don't have to do that right now. Thanks. Thanks, Maria. Okay, 
I'm gonna do that later. Then after now, we have Wrath, or Wrath for some reason. I don't know. To me, it's not Wrath, though. To me, Wrath is like a type of individual retirement account. Um, I'm not saying the three letters because that means a different thing depending on where you are, <laughs> just for the record. Anyway, Wrath. Wrath, friends. Wrath. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I just, it's great. I just did some stuff that's bad, but. It's a glorious color, everyone. It's a really good red. Really good. Oh, look, this has a heck of a lot of stuff in the cap. <sighs> Bummer. Oh, got this all over here, too. Okay. <laughs> Whoops. Whoops. Just shaking it. I might have to go um, empty my water because it's a pretty, pretty violent shade of red right now. <laughs> that seems like uh, it may contaminate things that come after. Okay. And I am foolishly not put, I did not put down the thing and I am mentioning it, which is the foolish part. This color, I think it is a, I gotta check because right now it's giving red dragon, but shimmer. And if you don't know, red dragon is my diamine red. Not that I've tried all of them, but. I did try a few when I first got into to, um, fountain pen ink because I was like, well, obviously I need a red. A uh, red, everybody. <laughs> need a red. Just the one, everyone, just the one. Although at the, at the time I had already, I already had several blues. Do I have red dragon here? I do. Not quite, huh? But still, it's good. Okay, pausing to clean water. I love that I tell you I'm pausing. I suppose it's good though, because then if things are in a different place, you won't think that something happened to your brain. Well, you might, but that won't be for lack of effort on my part. Oh, these are gorgeous. I don't like what I've done by adding more there. Frustrated with myself. Okay, now we have what color could possibly could Envy be, right? Could Envy be any other color than what it is? 
No, right? Because when you are blank with envy, you're green with envy. It's, it's like required. I have too much stuff on my table right now because I didn't really clear it off. And I'm frustrated with myself, to be honest. Okay. I don't know that this is the color of green I would have associated with envy. To me, green with envy means like you're sick with it. In other words, almost the color of greed. You know, like jaundice or pukey. This looks, this is too blue. Look at the color of the water. Like it, it's solidly emerald or even teal. I mean, which probably means I'll like the color more, but it feels wrong to me for, for greed. Envy, I mean, but also greed, I suppose. I'm going to write Colt pins on here because there's room. Which is probably going to really frustrate me later that I haven't written that on all of them. <laughs> and maybe it's frustrating some of you right now. Sorry if that's the case. So this to me is like a foresty green. If it's green, I sometimes see this color called like spruce maybe, or um, there's, there's certain types of pine trees that are that color for sure. Well, pine, I don't know if pine is a catch-all, uh, coniferous and not deciduous. If I'm using that correctly, it's been approximately 30 years since I learned those terms. Wait, no, I lie. 35 years or more. <laughs> Don't do math <laughs> when, you, when you're trying to figure out your age and when you learn things because you're going to, it might make you sad. I shared a like a gift today with a coworker, like a teamwork gift, and I realized the reference had to be older than one of my coworkers that I was sharing it with. And I was like, oh, I hope this isn't like insensitive or something, you know? And I almost said something like, sorry about that. But then I thought, yeah, that's exactly what people love is for you to remind them of their age relative to your own. Maybe like I can, my friend Pete can always be uh, younger than me. So he's got that going for him. I'm happy for him about that. Um, <laughs> because he's not that much younger than me. This is a great color when it's real thick. It, it's a dark green. Mm, what's it remind me of a little bit? Black Ivy perhaps from Inkvent the first well, maybe it wasn't the first, but it was the first Inkvent I had, um, which I think actually was Inkvent the second. Does this sound like a king? Ah, oh, yes. Under Inkvent the second, we saw blah, blah, blah. Okay. Moving on. Maria, chill out. Sloth. So we already watched this in my unboxing video for these inks cool with that uh where's the thing here it is this is like you know the blue that everybody has but maybe slightly different oh gosh what was this maria we gotta even that out a little. We had a we had a thing. Oh my gosh. 
I started to move this to dip like towards my bottle of water, my bottle, jar, jug, cup of water. But fortunately, I wouldn't have been able to get it in there anyway. It has a cap on it, but. Okay. Gee, Maria finds a blue pretty. Well, wonders never cease. Next up, you're going to tell me she likes a red wine. <gasps> Who is this weirdo? I think I dipped that way too far in. Cool, you can kind of see what the light part of that blue looks like. I'm gonna add a little bit more to part of it just so we make sure that that swatch is indicative of what it looks like when it's more heavily applied. Two more, I have to go empty my water because it looks almost black. And this is what happens is then all the water that's you're trying to use to clean your brush is now uh, not clean. Also, yeah, look, I, I got that all the way up in the ferrule. Okay, we're gonna pause again and return forthwith with some clean water. Okay, water clean, paintbrush also clean, and slightly wet. Okay, Lust, our penultimate ink. My fingers are all inky. That makes me happy. In my happy place with inky fingers. Oh, this one looks lovely. Oh my gosh. I think I have to burn this again. Yeah, it's not sticking. I don't like how I wrote that, which is a shame. You always want less to turn out better. Oh, yeah. This is a nice turquoise. 
turquoise. I probably had one like it. I think I'm gonna give away samples of each of these. Maybe not in this video. We'll figure something out. I'll tell you more about it. I have actually a lot of stuff that I wanna do a giveaway for. Why not some Seven Deadly Sins? So I possibly have four or five inks that are this color. And I would have thought Lust was not blue, right? I get that Wrath is red, but like Lust to me would be, I mean, Lust is not love, but Lust is, as much as I love this color of ink, it, it feels wrong for the sin. What do you think? Curious. When we look at them all at the end, I, I really would love to know opinions on how you feel about the colors they chose to represent each sin or man this the the lettering is still drying i got really heavy application on some of these i have to move them out of the way because um, when i put the hobonichi down it's just getting in there <laughs> Okay, and lastly, pride. We gotta be careful because, look, this has a bunch in there too. Because as we all know, pride goeth before fall and I don't really wanna fall anywhere. Um, <laughs> so I actually have um, eight other inks to swatch. I think I'll maybe do all of those together. Two of them are not like the others ish. Okay, so, 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 so we have this. Which one was this? Pride. Mm hmm. How do you write pride? But pride, where there is real superiority of mind. This makes me think of Mr. Darcy. Well, Pride makes me think of Colin Firth. <laughs> if we put it more exactly, <laughs> which is, <laughs> I wonder how he would feel about that. <laughs> because he played Mr. Darcy in the adaptation of Pride and Prejudice. If you know not of what I speak, then go watch that adaptation. It's gold. Um, <laughs> I'm to be honest. I'm not sure what I think of this shade for pride either. What color is pride? Two of them, three of them, three of them have definite colors in my mind, right? Envy, obviously, green with envy, has to be green. Wrath, I would think of um, the god Ares and uh, god of war, ruled by Mars, the red planet, blah, blah, blah. That makes sense to me. Lust is not a turquoise. Gluttony, I'm not sure why it's the color of a penny. 
I don't know what color gluttony should be though, you know, if I'm honest. I don't know what, it doesn't feel right. I don't know that gluttony feels absolutely wrong though in the way that lust does. I'm really curious what you think about that or any of these other colors if you have feelings about them. So I'll be honest, this is a lovely color for all it's being wrong. So that is all of them. We'll do the lineup. We got pride. I'm gonna do them in slightly different order. Can I swatch them? Sloth. Lust, envy, oh, gotta zoom out, huh? Whoop. Wrath, nope. I did them in a weird order because of, uh, I did it in, but I can't do them because we gotta compare to the Hobonichi. We gotta do it this way. Okay, here we are again on our own. So there we are. It's like a little rainbow. That's nice that they did that. Here it is here. We'll move them up. I'll do a couple comparisons. Um, which means I gotta go grab some more cards. Okay, hopefully that was quick for you. Um, where'd they go? Here are my bottles of ink. We have Wrath. I'm gonna put that next to Red Diamond. Red Diamond, Red Dragon. I think you can see the difference. They're not the same. They're good though. Uh, I don't, I have only, oh, here's Golden Gate Bridge, but most people won't have that. Here's the only orange I own, grapefruit, next to gluttony. This is a more of a tone. There's a little more gray in it. Also, there's, there's shimmer. Um, lust immediately reminded me of the four identical inks that I own that are not completely identical, thank you. They're identical. It's a little darker. That's nice. So next to KWZ Turquoise, Lammy Turquoise, Lammy, Sailor Michigan, and Jacques Herbin, Kianatu Nepal, Nepal. I can't right now, I can't. So Lust is pretty similar to that one, but a little darker. This has a red sheen that um, Sailor Michigan has, but not really, not in the writing. Um, Sloth kind of reminds me of um, KSLV2. Here it is obvious comparison to make next to nitrogen similar but sloth is darker next to Birmingham inks ice rink here it is next to kslv2 those look really similar to me sloth has more sheen by a lot um Greed reminds me of 
Yeah, so here it is next to the most recent Inkvents Fortune's Gold. They're similar, but obviously this is dirtier. And then, um, wait, yeah, that is Fortune's Gold. Then I, then I said this, Andrew reminded me of Black Ivy. So here's Envy next to Black Ivy. Those are pretty similar. This one, maybe greener here. And then I don't think I have anything like Pride. <laughs> the ink. Um, Maybe it's like, well, here it is next to Date Goko. Come on, get up here. So what it made me think of is Jane Eyre, but Jane Eyre is grayer than this, as I mean, is appropriate for anything said in England. Um, Oh, this is a similar one. So Envy and, and Van Diemen Sea Turtle. I'm not gonna go through all of these. I just, because Jane Eyre came to mind. Do you even own a sample of this, Marina? Are you just making this up out of your head? Here, it's gotta be here. I see wearing gold. Great Gatsby is not right. Here's Jane Eyre. It's not at all close. <laughs> and if I look at the bottles of purple I own, cause this is here, I don't own this. Wearing gold Persephone. But um, where'd they go, Maria? Where'd you put them? Here. So if I look at it next to say color versus opportunity, that's much brighter. Diamine deck the halls. Different color shimmer. This is a grayer ink. Caveze, KWZ, Gummy Berry, Pure Pins Platinum Purple. Here it is next to Mombato's hat. Anyway, I'm done. Look, we did a lot of stuff. I talked way too long. This video is eons long. But how can it not be? It's about the seven deadly sins. We were on a slothy journey that may have filled you with ink lust. Perhaps you feel some wrath about how long the video is. Perhaps you're envious of the collection of inks I just got that I have a lot of pride in. Don't be greedy. I don't know, sorry, that was ridiculous. So uh, we're done now. I hope whenever you're watching this, you're having a wonderful day. Um, here's all my inks. Take care of yourselves. Bye.